Jesus. <gasps> hey, mommy. It's mommy. Uh -oh. <laughs> Here. Ivy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> somebody missed somebody. Hey. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Finally made it back to the trailer after five weeks of being home with a torn ACL. Uh, it's going to be a good weekend. They got a lot of Halloween stuff going on here. Uh, costume contests for the kids, trick-or-treating. Uh, I can tell you what, though. After not being here at the trailer for five weeks, it is overwhelming, especially when something sits outside all day, every day, year round. It's just coming here to find out the park flooded with a foot of water. I guess with the moon rise, the harvest moon that we had, um, there's like a foot of water in here. It didn't affect the trailer really, up to the wheels, that's about it. But um, it's just it's just dirty and all the chrome is on here scrubbing chrome and getting things cleaned up and you know the awning needs some work so you know grass doesn't look bad but believe me it does need probably one more cut before the season's out it's just a lot of work um so i'm gonna probably cut this particular video short real quick because we just got here a half hour ago unloaded the truck and i've got a lot of work to do to try and get this uh trail a little bit of tlc there's days like this i wish this thing was sitting in my driveway because I would take very good care of it, and it sucks, you know, being away from it. When we close up October 27th, so basically I put a cover on this thing and it sits here for six months, it is a gut-wrenching feeling to drive away and not see it till April. Um, uh, we're trying to make decisions of what we want to do about that, um, but we just have no nowhere to keep it by our house right now, so here it sits. Um, and as many of you know, it is, it is a lot of upkeep and a lot of work, but Gonna enjoy the holiday weekend and uh, I'll get back to you. Silent prayers, open sky. Together we go. Wild frontier, morning light. And all that follows. In the sun, in the storm. It's all or nothing. Here with you, I'm so sure. Salad and me. Oh, I got a baby. That's a solid baby. I'll take it. <laughs> what about you? You got French fries nose? Yeah. Oh, it's my French fries mustache. <laughs> I am my mustache. You ate what? You ate your mustache? It's a problem. Did you eat your mustache? <laughs> Tell everybody how you wanted to make sure that I knew this was not a real fire. Yeah. Looks real, but see the gas lines right there. Last weekend, that's it. Try and set that thing off.
I think uh, I think the flat the flash of the camera set it, set it off. <laughs> yeah, it excites me. <laughs> Retarded. <laughs> hey, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? That's cool. <laughs> what is that? It's like, oh. <laughs> That's done pretty good. Huh? <laughs> Just left the RV parts store. So, during my odds and ends with getting the uh, trailer ready for winterization, um, noticed some of the sealant on the roof around the skylight was cracked and a couple other spots. Now, I had resealed the corners earlier in the season. Now, bear in mind, the trailer is only two years old, so that just goes to show you how much you really need to take care of your roof and keep on top of everything, you know, to keep the elements out of your RV. Um, so I went and picked up uh, a clean bottle of uh, lap sealant, a clean bottle, I should say, a, a, a fresh bottle of lap sealant. So I'm going to head back and, and get that done. But yeah, again, you know, that's the disadvantage of being part-time RVers. You know, you know, when you're full-time, your trailer, travel trailer, fifth wheel, whatever it is, you know, uh, motorhome, diesel pusher, the, this is your primary residence. So it's just like when I'm home, you know, I'm in and out of the house all day long, just making little repairs and doing things to keep up with your home. And unfortunately, you know, it's this, our trailer is an hour and a half away from our house. So we're not pulling it, but when we're not here on the weekends, um, it's, you know, it sits and then it's, it's just a lot to do, you know, uh, to keep on top of it. So it's, it's definitely a lot of work, especially since they don't make them that great, you know, and, uh, I don't think very many people have $150,000, $200,000 fifth deals. And if you do, God bless. But I can tell you, even with those, you know, they're going to require maintenance. They go down the road, they take a beating. They sit outside in the weather all year round, you know, unless you have, you know, an, an indoor garage, you know. But um, again, it's just these things are just are a lot of work. And I tend to notice more so when you're when you go to close it up. Because, you know, I'm underneath looking for rust spots. I'm, you know, looking the roof, cleaning it up. It, you know, just just giving it a good overall once over. Um, not that I don't do it during the year, but I kind of kind of more so I get really, really detailed because I it just, you know, I, I know I'm not going to see it, you know, for five months. So I want to make sure everything is as good as it's going to be until I can get back here and, you know, and, and get it opened up and get things squared away. So... Back to the trailer. Um, I think today I'm going to try and make today my last day for, you know, to kind of doing all this aside from it being winterized. You know, this way her and I can have a good weekend together and I'm not outside tinkering for four days. So. Good morning, everybody. Last day here. Tons to do right now. Got the guy coming to winterize. I got one more pump out going on because it didn't work out well yesterday. And then I got to put load this golf cart, get everything closed down, and get out of here for the season. But I woke up to get my coffee this morning. It was like 55 degrees, so it's uh, definitely season closing time, at least over here in New Jersey. So by myself again today. We had a great weekend in Cape May. Not a lot of recording going on, like I said, but we wanted to enjoy ourselves. Uh, Carolina head home 
headed home yesterday. I spent the night by myself, um, but it was football Sunday, so just chilled and relaxed. But uh, I promised you, oh, the sun's right in my face. I promised you a walkthrough today of, and I'm just gonna keep spinning. Yeah, there we go, welcome back. I promise you today that I will do a walkthrough just to show you uh, some of the things I've done to the trailer since I got it. Um, I will going to do that. I'm going to turn this camera back on after they winterize. This way I'm not in the middle of doing this while they're pulling up. And I'll give you a walkthrough and let you know, uh, you know what we did to it, what we got. And uh, I'll see you in a few. Alright guys, I'm back. Winterization is finally done. Still have a ton to do, but I promise you this walkthrough. So let's get going. When I picked up the trailer, we had them install the DirecTV satellite dish, and that has worked amazingly. So it hooks into our home. The only charge is extra for the box, since I have DirecTV at home, and uh, we just get, you know, 400 plus channels. So it's been great. Uh, put in the solid step. Doesn't have the uh, hydraulic, so you have to kind of, you have to hold it when it goes up and down. But that's fine. You know, it's a travel trailer that we're probably going to end up getting a fifth wheel at some point. So it works good for us for right now. Also put in the uh, the solar lights. That that actually, those are actually pretty nice. Um, I think they were on Amazon for maybe like 15 bucks. Also, I believe that storage box is more right, I believe. Um, you know, when you pull the old pull-out stairs out, I put that in there. And that's great for storing the chocks and, you know, some of that stuff that you initially need whenever you get to your campsite and you're setting up. Just open that up. And grab out whatever you need. Coming this way. Went ahead and changed the jack. That is a bulldog jack. Don't ask me why I changed it. I just, I just for peace of mind. I really wasn't a fan of the one that was on there. Changed that. Also put in the sweat, the re-sway bar hitch. Changed all the electrical, and that's not, not because anything was wrong with it. It just, I was getting the trailer disconnect before I knew any better that it was a truck issue, I thought it was a trailer issue. So I changed, you know, all the cords. I changed um, the uh, the breakaway system. I put in a new breakaway system. Uh, I don't know if you could see here. Uh, I changed all the fuses there, the fuse block. You see here, as best you can, new, new fuse block in there. I basically changed everything from that point forward is all new. Um, I also got an RV lock box to protect my batteries, you know, if we're not my campsites. So there's two batteries in there. Uh, new lines on the gas tank. So just for peace of mind for leaking, I changed the lines there on the gas tank. Just just Amazon, nothing crazy. I just made sure that they were not the junk that they that shipped with. Uh, let's go here. <clears throat> Now, if you could see there, I got the uh, the X chocks there, and I have new Goodyear Endurance tires with ion rims. So that was probably one of the first things I did, just because these China bombs, you hear all these bad stories. I just went ahead and changed everything. And then you could see back there, the yellow is an equalizer system with wet bolts so I have that on there <clears throat> okay so that is probably I think it for outside um, oh I added uh, I think what a Ventura ho hose a sewage hose holder but I don't think I need to show you that you guys know what that looks like um, I believe that's it for the outside. I'm going to take you inside show the, uh, and show you what we have done inside the camper. Okay, guys, on the inside, uh, don't mind the mess. I am closing for the season. So on the inside, I did put in uh, temperature gauges in the freezer and the refrigerator. And best thing I've, uh, I've done <laughs> in a long time as far as the trailer is concerned. Uh, let's see if I can put some light on this. It's so dark. We went with the subway tiles for the backsplash and a spice rack holder. It's just stainless steel from Amazon. I believe they use it behind uh, restaurant bars. Oh. We 
Got these bar stools here from Bed Bath & Beyond. Also, we changed, as you can see in this frame, both the light fixtures. And these light fixtures. The TV was changed. Issue, and it's diabolical when it also gets installed and I think we need the um, so try and get in the frame here that is uh, uh, gas tank right meter let you know that you know when your gas tank is full or empty so coming into the bathroom change the faucet add a little backsplash and the towel rack inside I already have it closed but inside is the uh, the high flow uh, shower head. I'm sure you guys don't need to see that. Pretty much everybody has that installed. Up above, Max Air Fan. That thing is amazing. So you could set a temperature on that. So if it, if we're not here and inside the camper gets hotter than 70 degrees, whatever you set it to, it will pop open and take the air, the hot air out. So it's not so stifling in here. Put a towel rack on. A little sticky backsplash. Um, I also wanted to show you these. We have these all around. We changed all these. So we could close them and open them. Into the bedroom. Again, sticky backsplash. Nothing crazy, just to make it look nice. Um, you have TV here on the wall. Pen it back in. We ha we have because this is a pull-out sofa, so you know I prefer a recliner. Uh, but I know if we get a recliner, we lose the sleeping space. And I'm at, at this point, I really don't care. But uh, I think we're going to hold off because we're not sure what we're doing with this trailer just yet. Um, ottoman that we got at Walmart, and it's great. You can store stuff inside. So that kind of you know since we can't kick the seats back, we uh, we'll at least have that to put our, our feet up on. Oh, uh, let's see, what else? Heading into the kids' room. A lot of stuff is already put away. TV, cable box. New antenna for next year. Again, during the off-season, I'll let you know uh, what the upgrades are going to be for the new season. Bed rail, because believe it or not, yes, our daughter has already fell out once. And on top of the bed rail, got bad light coming in there, is the ladder that we got. So that ladder was actually from Walmart and it came just uh, unstained. So I stained it that color to match. Um, this actually came, came like that. So it's not as dark mahogany, but you know, with some of the, uh, the accent wood, it actually doesn't look bad. Continuing on, you know, we added, and just, you know, just decorative so she likes you know sprucing the place up and it's great you know pillows placemats you know carpets stuff that you see all around um, I think I may change this faucet next season I don't know yet um, I'll, I'll figure it out in case you guys are curious what the direct TV looks like it's a mess but so it's a mess back there and I, I I know it seems like everything's all over the place I have a lot I have stuff plugged in here um, but listen it is it is what it is it works great I had the guys at the uh, RV dealership uh, put it in honestly yeah not a big fan of 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 this back here but um, it is what it is I would not do without it it is really really nice So, um, if I had to do it, I probably would have cleaned that up a lot better. So, but it is what it is. I let them do it because I'm just not at that point yet where I'm handy enough to, to do stuff like that and get up on the roof. But uh, as you could see from the antenna, and I might be going with that to-go system or whatever it's called for the Wi-Fi. So, and I'm definitely doing that myself. So, at some point, I got to learn. Uh, aside from that, trying to... Trying to look around. I know when I turn this camera off, there's going to be two or three things that I forgot to show you. 
Um, but that, oh, I have here the, uh, the inline system for the, uh, the inline fuse. So that I, did, that I did install, sorry, the dog's jumping all over me. I'll show you that real quick. So, surge, inline surge protector. I had one on the outside, but it was just it was just a pain in the ass. You know, it would get muddy, the weather would get on it, and this inline one is 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 per, is perfect. I, we love it. So, and power here goes out all the time. I, I once a week at least. Every time we come back here, the you know how we tell the the power went off is uh, the microwave resets to zero, so the clock turns off, and that's how we know. And every time we come here, it's on zero. So that has probably been a godsend during storms and and uh, as they upgrade this park, you know, with the power going in and out. Uh, I think that's about it. I got to get this golf cart loaded and uh, get this camper covered up and be sad driving all the way home. See you soon. That's it. She's uh, all tucked in. So we are officially done for the season. It's gonna be a long couple months because after Christmas it's just gonna drag. But we'll be back in April and we'll get it going again. But very sad day. But just glad it's over with. We got her all tucked in real nice. So hopefully, this is my th third cover. <laughs> hopefully this one lasts this season. We'll talk to you guys soon.